What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to the Startup Life, folks. So um, today's hackering solution is gonna be the birthday cake candles uh, hackering problem. And this one is a problem where they give you a scenario that you have a kid, you know, it's their birthday and they have to blow out these candles on a birthday cake. Um, and the way that we measure how many candles are actually gonna be blown out is gonna be based on the um, height of the candles. So let's say that it's basically the three-year-old, four-year-old is only going to be able to blow out the tallest candles, right? So um, uh, we basically are, receive this variable, which represents the candles, the amount of candles um, on this birthday cake. Uh, it's in an array. And what we want to, basically the logic behind it is that the highest values within that array are the ones that represent the candle that actually gets blown out. So for example, with this array that we have set up um, for our testing purposes, uh, we have three, two, one, and three again. So that means we have four candles really, right? And um, the height of each of the candles, three inches, two inches, one inches, three inches again, that's what it represents. It's the height of actual, of each of the candles. So therefore, with that logic, if we know that the tallest candles gets blown out um, are the ones that actually get blown out, uh, logically we'll say three is the, um, the value, the highest value. So three is what gets blown out and there's two of them. So that means there's two candles that get blown out. So if we enter this into this array, we should receive a return value of two. So that's the logic behind how we're going to actually um, write out the solution for this problem. Now, what we wanna do, ooh, I can't really, I, I don't know if I can, okay. Oh, wow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, first declare a variable and we're gonna declare the variable for the height, okay? Um, the height is, uh, going to be equal to uh, this higher order function, at least that's what I believe it's called, a higher order function um, called math.max. And uh, what math.max does, it's like a built-in function, right, in and of itself. And what it does is it finds the highest value within the parameters you provide it. Now, in order to use math.max, what I discovered is that you can't just put, you know, are, you know, the name of the, of the variable of the array in there, you have to use like a spread operator. Um, and I, and I believe in a previous solution, I use the spread operator as well. Um, but yeah, when you use math.max, you can't just straight away put R in, into the parentheses, um, uh, for like an array, you have to use a spread operator. Uh, and that's, the, that's as much of, a, of an explanation I can give you right now. Um, so we've, Call, we set that up. Now we want to also set a variable for frequency because we're not just returning the value of the highest, you know, the tallest uh, candle. We're actually returning the frequency of which that value appears within the array. So we're going to do it just like how we do our sum when we like try and sum up, um, uh, you know, certain values within an array. So we're going to do var frequency equals zero. All right, and then now we're gonna go into our for loop, right? So within our for loop, it looks the same as always, or at least how I do it, i equals zero. And then we're gonna say i is less than, let's say our, y'all know this part, length, right? And then i plus plus, right? So that is us setting up for, our loop. And what we're going to do in our loop is we're going to do an if else statement. We're going to do an if statement. Um, and basically what we want to say is at each, we want to look at each value within the array as, is, as we're looping through it and see if it's equal to height, which is the the max value within the array. So if it's equal to height, we want to add, and this is where the frequency part um, comes in, we want to add one point to frequency. Right? I hope that makes sense. So we're saying if the value at this index within this array is equal to height, which is the 
top, the tallest candle within the array, then that means the frequency is happening. You know, we, we want to add a one to frequency because that's how often it's happening. And then if we go into this section, this is where we're going to put our return value. We're going to say return frequency, frequency, right? And then this is where we actually call the function. So uh, this is where it's actually going to run it. And we're going to say run. And we get the value two, which is what we expected. And to test that, even if we wanted to test it, we want to say, let's put three. It should say three now. Right? Now let's say we added a number four here. It should say one now. And it does say one. So um, that is how I solved it. Please feel free to add your own solutions in the comment sections, um, how you went about solving it. You probably have, or if you have a better explanation as to why we need to use a spread operator in order to um, use R within the parameters for the math max, um, then provide that explanation and links to um, that information. That would be greatly appreciated from everybody on here. And I also want to give a shout out to Jenny and San Francisco. She's so dope. Um, you know, and I, it just goes to show, I really do appreciate your comments, your suggestions. I'm going to be implementing some ideas she shared with me. So, um, again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm always available, uh, especially on Instagram and like on Twitter and stuff like that. And of course, via YouTube in the comment sections, I am quick to respond, um, or as quickly as I can. Uh, and other than that, um, yeah, I guess I'll say peace out. Uh, feel free to also leave suggestions for future videos. Um, maybe we could do like something on like a framework. Uh, so I'm more of a React person. So I could definitely do something explaining how I go about uh, using React and, you know, different problems maybe you may have difficulty understanding um, in that whole React world. Uh, I could probably go into something explaining how I do that with you guys. <laughs> Anyways, um, bye. <laughs>